workmanship. Amen. This seems basic, but watch this. It's needed because these days people get married and don't understand how to love. Let me hold out the brothers just for a moment. The Bible tells us that we are to do what with our wives? We are to love our wives as Christ does what? Loves the who? The church. And what did he do for the church? He gave him self for her how did christ love the church he gave himself for her amen he didn't say amen that he gave his his life for the church when the church was good because we know that the bible says while we were what yet what sinners christ came and he did what died for us so fellas here's the principle and y'all let us get this he didn't say love your good wife he didn't say love your wife only when she cooked for you he didn't say love her when she clean no he says i want you to love that woman not some of the time i want you to love her all the time amen i want you to love the premenstrual wife i want you to love the menstrual wife and the post menstrual and y'all know fellas let me just get to us about this menstrual amen because you know the menstrual wife it's hard to love the menstrual wife that's that woman amen that come out all the time every night she just so mad and, and aggravated she come out with her hair curl all up amen and curl it she got stuff all over her face and she get that gown on that say click click you ain't getting none tonight amen and the minute you try touching her amen she look like something off of the exodus she's spinning her head around amen and you just saying you know what forget about it amen but can i tell you amen god says husbands i don't care what it takes you have a duty and a responsibility to love here like she's your queen and that she's special to you not just some of the time but all of the time let her know that your sun sets and rises on her let her know that she wants to be the first person next to God that you want to see in the morning and name men the last person you want to see at night my goodness I feel like closing and calling the benediction right now amen and going home hallelujah amen but let her know amen that you love her hallelujah let her know that she's special to you amen let her know amen that amen you want to be with her all the time man just like brother prince in that video amen make up pet names for her amen call her boo boo who do whatever you do amen call her baby sweetie sugar pie dumpling man let her get tired of them pet names amen why because what it does is you telling this woman man i love you hallelujah amen whatever floats your boat and sails hers man y'all just do it amen why because you want her to know that you love her hallelujah amen and so here it is amen when you love her here's what you do amen you don't just say it you do it somebody say do it hallelujah and so just like nike fellas you can't just say it though you've got to do it amen when you love her here's what you do you pastor her everybody say pastor her amen can i tell you when you love her you speak words of encouragement to her amen you speak over her life when she's down amen you find words to bring her up amen when she's confused you ask god to give you the word amen to give her clarity brothers listen to me this is a part of loving your wife ladies and let me just just haul out the single ladies and bring y'all in this again. Amen. Don't ever marry a man. And I said it last week. If he does not the ability to pastor you. Amen. That's why when you marry somebody, you've got to be sure that they hear from God. Because how could you fall if they can't hear from God brothers when we love her and we pastor her amen we say to her amen I want to wash you with the word of the living God what does the Bible says the Bible says that the husband he washes the wife with what the word of God and sanctifies her and so that's a part of loving your wife Sister.